Hey guys, welcome to another video and welcome to spring bear season 2020. We're here up at our bait site. We just got it set up. We're in a new location this year. Um, we figured last season we wanted to learn from our mistakes and we took that knowledge that we gained and we used it for a new site. So we're gonna establish a new site this year. We have our barrel here set up with our donuts and grease and our meat hanging on the trees and on the chain. We got one trail cam directly behind me to catch the bears. We got another trail cam right behind the camera so that it sees the whole site. Um, our site is nice, nice and open, but covered for the bears. We bought a blind this year. We're not doing a brush blind and we're gonna have it set about 25, 26 yards from us. So pretty good distance, have nice shooting lanes. Come along, wish us luck. We're gonna let this soak now and hopefully we can get this site established. bait site and our barrel was totally wiped out so we have about two or three bears coming in on trail cam and what we're doing now is we're taking bore masters here this is their rebel raspberry powder and one ounce of this will do 50 pounds of bait so we just put a little bit on each layer of our barrel here and it's an addictive freaking powder for these bears and they love it so I'm going to do that now Now we're putting this uh, Boar Master's Conviction caramel flavor into our fryer grease here. It says you use one to two ounces per five gallons. This stuff, man, it's strong. It smells like caramel. It is super, super strong. This will call the bears for miles. Okay, guys. The bait's been out for two weeks now and we've had bears coming in pretty consistently almost every night we think we have four different bears it's a sow with an older cub so they're off limits then we have two other bears looks like a medium size like black bear and a bigger brown bear and then last night just before shooting light was over we got some pictures of what we think might be a new bear Looks like a bigger brown bear, so me and my wife Diane are up here tonight. We're gonna set the blind and see if maybe that bear comes in just before dark again. Well guys, it's Monday. I got off of work. I'm up here in the mountains, solo. I'm gonna sit the bait tonight, solo mission. The bears have been coming in in the evening during the week, so figured it was best to come up here in the week. Got the four-wheeler behind me here. I'm gonna unload that and get up to the bait. It's almost six o'clock right now, so I gotta hustle. Okay, so we're about halfway through the season now, and we've been just baiting and baiting and checking the cameras and baiting. We got a lot of consistent bears. We've got a lot of day bears coming in now, but they're not real consistent in the day. Putting a few more buckets of bait together here, and uh, we're coming up on Memorial Weekend. We've sat a few nights at the bait. We haven't had anything come in. We're probably gonna wait till after Memorial Weekend before we get real serious, because during this COVID, We've had all kinds of people camping in the woods, running around on their four-wheelers and running around on their dirt bikes. And it's been really crazy. So we're hoping it dies down a little bit or we're gonna have to start going during the, during the week. But anyhow, getting some more bait together here and gonna head up for the weekend. Yummy. I gotta spook him out of here now. <laughs> 
Because he heard me. Oh. He's standing about 40 yards away. Dang. I'm not sure if I've mentioned it in this video anywhere yet, but I plan on trying at a bear with my 40 cal Glock 35. The goal is with the handgun. I have my 300 blackout. Just in case. And Richard's gonna try with the bow. Got that small bear back. There's plenty of daylight left. Hopefully another bear comes in. Headed back in, man. This has kind of been the operation in the show on Fridays. Get off work early, bust it, descent myself, and send it to the bear blind. And get in there about 5.30 or so. Um, so hopefully that's plenty of time, you know, for everything to settle down. Wish me luck, guys, man. I really want to get it done. We're getting into June now, so those bears are really starting to move around. I just shot a bear. I had to call an audible. I had my bow here, but I've had a couple different opportunities and the season's coming down to a wind, so I decided to go with the 300 blackout. We had this bear come in. It's a smaller bear, but I think it's a new bear that's come to our site. The season's coming down to an end. It's been raining on us. The weather hasn't been good, so I just took an opportunity to get a shot at my first bear ever. Well, guys, we got out of there. It got really dark on us. Um, on either side of the bait barrel it's a really steep hill on either side and he went straight down it so we thought he would be down in there in the bottom but after further review he may have gone sideways I'm soaking wet gonna have to go back in the morning man I hate this man I hate having to walk away and not be able to find him tonight 
but that's what happens when you shoot something right at dark and it doesn't die right quick. It's gonna be an early morning, five o'clock is when it gets light, so we'll be in there at first light looking for him and hopefully he, we can recover him. It's raining and it's supposed to rain all night, so. Man, 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 tough, tough break, but hopefully we can recover him and hopefully it all works out. Good morning, guys. It's first light, headed back in. That was a sleepless night, man. It's just, it's five o'clock here. Um, oh man, I'm freaking sick. Watch that shot over and over again. And you know, of course that bear looks like I drilled him and should be laying there dead close, hopefully. Gosh, I, I hope, man, I hope it's, I hope it was a clean kill. We're headed back in this morning. We're gonna do whatever it takes to find him. Wish me luck, guys. As you can see, I'm soaked to the bone again. Soaking wet, it's raining on us again. We've been searching for that bear for four hours or more. We replayed the scene, we went to the scene of the crime, started from the very beginning. We went one direction that we thought he may have went, and then we couldn't find him, went for a while down that way, came back to the start again, found what we were pretty sure was his tracks going down. Like pretty positive, it looked like a bear went stumbling through there. Went all the way down to the bottom, there's no blood anywhere. We log, there's tracks everywhere down there. We followed what we thought was him out for a long ways down out the bottom. Um, never ran into him. Went on the other side, through all the thick brush just to hopefully find him piled up, but he's nowhere. There's no blood. It rained absolutely all night long. Freaking washed away any blood. It's still raining. Um, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. This sucks, this really sucks. And I don't know if I, I must not have shot him in the vitals. It must've been a high front shoulder shot. And uh, it's it's really disappointing. We uh, we rebated our site and uh, we're gonna keep hammering it. I feel awful about that bear, it's part of it. And uh, we did everything we could to try and find that bear and recover that bear. And you can only do so much with this amount of rain and no blood and no other sign of him, so. Well, I just shot Mohawk. It's not the bear I've been looking for this year, but season's almost over and I really wanted to kill a bear with my handgun. Shot him with the old angry 40. Hopefully he's done. I've been sitting there for a few minutes waiting. I'm gonna go look. There it is. Piled up by a tree. It's a young bear, hide all rubbed. First big game animal with a handgun for me. Angry 40, didn't go far. Barrel's right up there. Anyhow, time to get to work. Well, look at this. Right through the freaking heart with that 180 grain hard cast bullet. Heart shot. Nice. Yeah. Where is it? Right there. We made it up to the bait site and we made it to the kill zone. There's Angry Dick right there. Hey. Got his bear down. Where's she at? <sighs> Mohawk. There she is. We got her down. She's gutted. We're just off to the side of the bait site here, so we're going to have to throw over the shoulder and uh, get her out of here. Congrats, man. Thanks. Father's Day weekend bear yeah. kill. Awesome. First big game with a pistol. Oh yeah, first big game with the Glock, with the, the, with the Franken Glock, right? Yep, yep, the Angry 40. That's awesome. Richard's got the bear loaded up on his shoulders. We're gonna head up, and we're gonna hike out of here with her. Okay, head on out. So. Okay. Oh, it's, it's steep. It's steep. It's steep country though. That's what you do. Oh. 
There you go. Oh. Got the bear loaded up. We're headed back to go get it skinned out. I'm a bloody mess. You know what this means? Ripped bag means it's a late night. I think it's just past midnight right now. We got a long night ahead of us. This Mountain Ops Ignite Hush Edition is helping me out. This was full when we went in to go get the bear and look, it's almost all gone. So it's definitely gonna keep me up tonight. Give me the energy that I need. If you guys have never checked out Mountain Ops before, Link is in the description box. Go check it out, guys. They make awesome products. So I'm going to take my bloody mess here, and I'm going to go on and get and go take care of this bear. Okay, we're back at the cabin here, and I wanted to talk about why we call this the Mohawk Bear. It's rubbed pretty much all its hair off, and it's got a Mohawk. So since it doesn't have a fuzzy coat, it looks really skinny, but... It's just not fluffy. It's a medium bear. It's a medium small bear. Medium small Idaho bear. Nothing wrong with it. Here she is all skinned out. We got the mohawk standing up. We just measured her. She's five feet. So congrats. Killed a nice Idaho five foot bear. You can see she's all rubbed out, but. It's a small bear. It's a young bear, but I'm happy with it. First big game with a handgun. Got some meat, make some sausage, make some leather to make holsters maybe. Since this bear's all rubbed out, it's perfect for just making leather to make some holsters and some, you know, stuff like that because it's not worth doing a rug. We're rebaiting. So next morning after my dad killed his bear, it's actually Father's Day. We went in, we checked the camera because those bears have been pounding it. Mohawk specifically has been pounding it. So rest in peace to her. We checked the cameras. The bears were actually in last night and there was a bear on the bait site within minutes of us being at the bait site to harvest the bear. I'll show that right here. The bear is actually looking because it can hear us. And then also I got confirmation this morning that the bear I shot is still alive. That's good. Um, as you can see here in the photos, this bear that's been coming into the bait has a hole right where I hit that bear. And then he has another hole coming out the front of his chest. So I am gonna believe that that is the bear I shot. I'm glad he is alive. I'm glad he is going to be able to be okay. And I'm not just wounding game that's just going to die in the mountain. It's obvious and apparent that where I shot that bear missed all his vitals and just poked a little hole in him up high and then behind his front shoulder and then came out the front of him. So he just has a hole in him. He should heal up and be just fine. He's coming into our bait still and eating. So I do feel a lot better about that. Well, I'm headed in for the final sit of the 2020 spring bear season. I'm solo this evening. Truck's back there. Got the rifle. Got the tripod. Headed into the site now. We'll see, man. Had that little bear in last night. I'm pretty sure that cinnamon was right with it. So with any luck tonight, that cinnamon will show up and I'll get a shot.
Well guys, that's a wrap on 2020 spring bear season. No bear for me. As you saw, that smaller bear came in and was hanging out for a while. You know, I passed on him because I just, I wasn't sure if it was the bear from last night, just all fluffed up and not wet. So I gotta look at the videos and the pictures to know if that was a different bear or not. But you know, I didn't want to shoot anything that I wasn't sure about. So I know I've never shot a bear, but I want to make sure it's something I'm sure about and I feel good about. So I'm leaving here without shooting a bear. I've worked really, really hard and it was a long season. This is the way it goes and that's why it's called hunting. I can't say that I didn't have my opportunity or my chances, you know. So it was a success this year, far more than it was last year. Um, we made leaps and bounds from where we were last year and I think we even learn more this year for next year. So I hope next year is even better. Thank you for tuning in to this video. Thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, please consider liking and subscribing. Um, it really helps us out. And if you hit the bell notification, you'll get notified every time we upload. We love sharing all this content with you guys on there. We appreciate all the support, guys. You guys are all awesome. So thanks for tuning in to this video, guys. And until the next video, until the next season, we'll catch you later.